brief. So, I mean, there's one which is the physical location of a, of a piece of imaging equipment. There's also uh, the situation that um, sometimes you may have really old equipment, which is outdated and, and which still can provide diagnostic information, but may not necessarily provide the, the powerful information that you can get with, with newer pieces of equipment. Um, but also even in the, you know, we, we, we found that there are even patients that are not um, able to, to get into an MRI scanner. The typical system is a, is a tube type design. There are open designs, which also have their limitations with regards to allowing patients to get into them. And so um, we see, again, when you think about the concept of democratization, so access for all in some capacity, um, we, we want to think about how can we reduce, how, how can we make it to where all patients who are in need of it can get it? Um, and then you can also just think about it in uh, availability. So backlogs, for example, where there are uh, high volumes, can if we introduce more of the systems um, and, and medical imaging in general, but if we introduce more of the MRI systems as we're talking about um, in, into certain locations, can we um, speed up access to it? So for example, if you, if you have a, a some disorder or some disease and you need a, a quicker diagnosis, but if you have to wait six weeks to be able to get an MRI because of access reasons, because uh, there are not enough systems in a particular location, then, then that ultimately leads to a delay in care. So we start to think about how can we speed up access to the systems to be able to get to a quicker diagnosis. And then of course, as you, as you go about doing that, you also have to think about the expertise to run these systems. So one key part of the puzzle for us at Siemens Health and Ears is how can we um, make it to where you get high quality results, very reproducible, and you reduce the variability that exists between operators. Or you know, in certain cases, there's a, a, an access to, to people that are trained to work on certain equipment these days. And so we've really been focused on how can we develop our technology to be easier to use and possibly even um, enable things like remote scanning. So you could have experts run it from a, a different location. And if they can run it from a different location, then let's say, for example, in some remote part, uh, more remote part of uh, the United States, um, where they may have uh, limited access to individuals who would move to that location um, to run that equipment. Possibly you could get someone to manage it in some ways, but, um, but run it with a, a higher level expert from a further location. That's just a concept we might think about from a barrier that could keep us from bringing such equipment um, to certain locations and again, the United States or other places in the world. You know, we here in the United States, we oftentimes, uh, particularly those of us that live in more urban areas, we, we oftentimes don't think about, um, we, we don't think about the lack of access to, to uh, healthcare and what the impact of the lack of uh, access to healthcare can have on an overall community. But I mean, the first and foremost piece is, right, we're all human beings. And as human beings, we all deserve some, um, some rights or you know some civil rights to 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 health equity, right? So if we we have the ability to to elevate that, and as human you know as humans and as as people on Earth that share a, a joint interest in the livelihood of each other, I think it's in parent uh, uh, you know it's it's um, important for us to kind of focus on how can we do that and how can we bring that to, to more people. But I think, um, you know, it's not until you start to walk around or you start to go into some of these communities that you see the disparities that there are in access to healthcare. Um, and um, that can be in the rural space, but it can also be in, in urban areas as well. Um, and, and we here in the United States, um, we have um, better access than they do in some countries, some other countries around the world. So it, it can even get more drastically more drastic and more and worse in other in other areas, but nonetheless, we have to recognize. I think that there is a, a, an equity an inequity that we, that exists here in the U.S. And we um, we particularly at Siemens Health and Ears, we feel like it's everybody's um, it, it's our responsibility to help address that. And um, and a, a big ambition for um, the company at the the highest level is um, innovating. Um, new, basically developing new um, innovations that target um, advancing healthcare for everyone everywhere.